There's an old saying, first they ignore you, then they laugh at you, then they fight you, then you win. Which I predict will be the story of your channel, the People's Channel, GB News. Talk of our arrival over two years ago was met by fury in the television industry. Campaigns wanted to crush the baby at birth and we were prejudged and hated before we even got on air. How can the industry hate a channel they haven't even seen yet? Simple, fear. Fear of competition, fear we will deliver a better product, fear we will deprive them of viewers and listeners, fear that cat, fat cat producers and TV stars who have been on the gravy train for decades could be out of a job. But what the industry hate most about GB News is you, the great unwashed, the apparently uneducated masses who they look down upon and detest. But we've got your back and I've got your back. Millions of people in this country of all backgrounds, races, income groups and cultures are sick of stifling woke political correctness. They're concerned about unchecked mass immigration. They're patriotic and proud of our complex but great history. And they want to see a broader, more balanced and inclusive debate on issues like Brexit, the cost of living crisis, net zero and the so-called culture wars. The worst nightmare of our broadcast rivals and the wider political, corporate and media elite is for you to have a voice. Well, a voice you have. And our numbers are through the roof. Their worst nightmares are being realised. Just this show, a week ago, broke channel records for a Friday night, with a peak audience of 150,000 people. That's more than Elton's crowd at Glastonbury, and beating both the BBC and Sky News. People power is insuperable, and it won't be stopped. So what are we? What do we have? Well, we have authentic presenters, not grinning fakes like Schofield and Willoughby. We have a balance of political views. We have a bit of wit, I suppose, a bit of cheek. Sometimes I can be very naughty. And we have proper viewer input via email and even video calls. In short, we are the real deal. But let me give you the scale of the challenge facing us. Top advertising executives in Manchester this week, mainly drunk blokes, shouted down our brilliant commercial director, Nicole O'Shea, one of the best professionals in the business and one of the nicest people I've ever worked with. She was jeered and heckled and told to get off the stage. Here is a short clip of her appalling treatment at the hands of the advertising industry. Well, I know Nicola well, and let me tell you, she can handle a few drunk thugs. Nicola is Irish, and you don't mess with the Irish. This will only harden her resolve, as it hardens my resolve, and that of all my colleagues here at GB News. And I've got no doubt it will harden your resolve too. Hey, we get things wrong here, and we make mistakes too. Editorially, technically, this great project is a work in progress, but it belongs to you. And I believe that as our numbers grow, advertisers from great British supermarkets to top car manufacturers and much loved beer brands who are so afraid to advertise with us at the moment will soon be afraid not to. When this channel is reaching millions of viewers, if the boycott continues, what are they saying? Do they not want you to shop in their stores? Do they not want you to buy their cars or drink their beer? I'm certain these great brands will, in time, come on board and prove that they do indeed value your custom. Watch this space. And at the moment, our heroic current advertisers couldn't be happier because an advert on GB News arguably has more power than adverts on other networks. Why? Well, because this is more than a channel. It's a community, it's a movement, and it's a family. The arrogance of our critics will come back to bite them on the bum. In the end, we will win. People power always has been and always will be an unstoppable force. I'm humbled by the emails I get to this show every night. Like all families, we have disagreements. Of course we do. That's a good thing. But the message that I'm hearing from correspondents from all of you, loud and clear, is a consistent one. 
that you love us. Well, let me tell you, we love you too. If you're enjoying the show and if you're enjoying the channel, tell your friends, tell your family, and let's change the world together. And don't worry, the only place we're going is to the top.